Today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool Homo Polar motor. It's really simple to make. All we need is a battery, some circular magnets like these, and some copper wire. To make the motor we start by attaching the magnets to the base of the battery. Then we need to cut off a short length of the copper wire, fold it in half, then fold it back down on itself like this. Then we need to measure it alongside of the battery and fold the wire over at the same level as the magnets. I then formed a loop at each end so it looks like this. This loop will hug the magnets at the base of the battery. And I used some pliers to squeeze together the arch on the top a little to make it a bit more pointy. Now when we drop it down over the battery and balance it on top, off it goes. Look at it spin. We've made our motor. Pretty cool, huh? And it's surprising just how quickly it spins. You do need the copper to be pretty symmetrical, or at least it needs to be balanced. And if you need to, you can take it off to adjust it. This one is really good, but sometimes it does fall off the tip of the battery. But even then, it still tries to keep on going. I decided to try making one out of this bigger battery, which has actually got a divot on the top, which will be perfect for keeping the copper wire spinning centrally and keep it located. So I attached some larger magnets and started bending a new piece of wire into shape. Halfway through bending it, I decided to see if it would spin like this. So I tried it out and off it went. Amazing, huh? I finished shaping it into a similar style as the last one and slid it over the battery again. It's really cool and it really does spin quickly. And the dimple on the top of the battery keeps the wire well located unless I purposely stop it. So how does it work? The battery produces current in the wire which interacts with the magnetic field of the magnets and that's what causes the wire to spin. Next, I decided to try making a, a really small one out of one of these button batteries. I attached a magnet to the base and bent the wire. You can see how small it is, it really is tiny. And it did take a little bit of trial and error to get this right. But when I put it on, it does spin. It's very slow and has very little power because the battery is so small. But it was cool getting it to work. It's really fun making these Homo Polar motors. And you can experiment with different shapes of wire. Just remember they need to be well balanced or they're likely to just fall off. Here's a really cool spiral one I made. Or check out this sort of round cage. This works really well. Or this funny looking counterbalanced shape. I love this one. and this slightly wider spiral design too. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun and as always, thanks for watching.